Hello, Steve Bannister with CW Hayden, and we're here today to discuss optimal air pressure for pneumatic tools. This is going to help greatly to be sure that your abrasives, whether you're running a Scotch-Brite disc, random orbital sander, and sandpaper, right angle grinder with a grinding wheel, or a file belt tool, the importance of optimal tool speed, is a direct relationship to the optimal performance of your abrasive, no matter what you're running. We have a tool that we use to determine if their tools are operating at optimal tool speed while under load. Tool, inline air tester, airline. We have a device that we put together. You can easily put one together on your own. Call your CW Hayden rep. We carry these with us and we can come in and do the testing with you. It consists of a brass T quarter NPT, pressure gauge, connector, and a plug. You put this in line, connect your tool to the coupler, your air line to the plug, and you will instantaneously get your sharp air reading at that drop. Drop to about 110, maybe a little bit less, and now we'll run it under load, and we Ideally, you want to have this tool operating at 90 PSI. If you have a single drop, multiple drops, drops around the shop, wherever you're at, air pressure changes as more individuals get on that airline and start uh, requiring air to operate their tools. It varies as you go out through the day, the number of people on, the, on that particular airline, and the number of drops on that airline. So this will help get your abrasives to do the job they're supposed to do in the most timely fashion that we can.